Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and another question from our YouTube subscriber and his name is Albert Einstein. Okay, I think Albert Einstein is reincar reincarnated. So Albert Einstein asks, Hi Nelka, how can I found the luminar device that you, s that you used in this video? Okay, I, op I am opening the file now but unfortunately it's too slow. So, this is the uh, project that he asked. So, this is the one. This is the LED strip that I use. You can find it here in the Tridonic website. Okay, I'm not promoting Tridonic here. But if they found this video, I um, open for sponsors. Tridonic guys, okay. <laughs> so, you can go and check this one. Yes, go to their website www.tridonic.com and then go to their products. Yes, and then go to this LED modules because Tridonic also produced the drivers and other stuff for lighting. And then once you select the LED mo modules, just go and select this flexible LED strip. And then after that, once you selected the LED strip, you can go now and select the photometric file of that one. Maybe you want to use and watch th their video. So there is one uh, advanced and S and C. So I'll just go and always go for the advanced LED strip advanced. And then once I selected that one, you see here below there are so many tabs: the common data sheets, technical data downloads, links, certificates, accessories, cadre, and EPD. So if you want to select, for example, this um, LED strip with 4,700 uh, uh, Kelvin, 80 CRI, for what, uh, with 600 lumen per meter, go and select this one. And if you are confused with their codings, go and click on this uh, PDF file and then you will find all the details about this LED strips. So because I'm familiar with the Tridonic uh, products, so I'll, I can easily identify what is the meaning of these codes for example i want a 4000 kelvin so you can see here 840 so it's 80 cri 4000 kelvin and it says here 4 watt or 6 with 600 lumen per meter so this is the one okay for example i like to have this one what i'm going to do and i if i want to use it in my um Dilux evo calculation or lighting design calculation i just go to cadre and then I'll go and select that one, the one I chose a while ago, which is the 840, 4600 lumen per meter. And then I'll go and select this one. So you can have the CAD file and you can have the photometric file. So just go and download and click this one. So click and then you will download it. For example, I will save it in my desktop and say I'll just say LED Flex, Advanced, Photometric and say Save. And then once you have it, like what I did in my previous video, you can select this fitting. So go and show in folder first and then extract it in your, in from that zip file. So right click and then um, extract files because you cannot uh, import it even if, if, if it's in the zip. So just go and say open. Now it is, uh, where is it? Here so go and check that one so you will have how many IS files so you will have uh, LDT file and IES file inside so again if you have uh, extracted it there are so many codes again inside and you may try it uh, one by one if you like but I think it depends on the length if I'm not mistaken it's all about the length only all right, so I open now my Dialux Evo file. This is one of the files sent me by Dial Team for me to use in my training. So let's use now that LED strap in one of these rooms. So we'll find out how to use those LED strips. First, you need to select one room. You can actually work on the ground floor or in one of the rooms on the ground floor. Okay, so we will use now our LED strip there. Where is it now? So just go to the light tab and then go to the select tab and then select the folder and then go and add the folder. Go to your desktop, select it 
and where is my tridonic LED strip yeah there you go and I'll select this one and say OK now all those uh, files or LED file or IS files in that folder are now inside my Dialux Evo so I can easily select those fittings so I don't need to import it one by one I can easily select it here from here from inside so for example I want to use this uh, 120 I think this is 1.2 meters uh, length maybe I will go for the shorter one instead so let's go and try this one so this is LDT file so I'll, I'll just go and press apply and now it's here in my active tab so I selected the 2700 Kelvin ATCRI 12 watt or 1800 lumen per linear meter so I'll go to the plan view and then I'll just go and run it let's just imagine I want to have a cove lighting here is there a ceiling on this one let me double check if I want to add cove light on the side okay yep I have a ceiling perfect so what I'm going to do is I will just adjust an offset here say 0.1 all right say invalid of course and then I'll go and uh, check it here yes now I have a ledge for my LED strips here I will now offset this uh, drop ceiling again point one from the wall so this is where the lights will come out yeah so I have now the space from the wall okay so let's go and see it again see those space in between this is now the ledge where I can put my LED strip and this is the space where those lights is coming out so go to the plan view now and let's use our LED strip so go to the light tab and yeah I selected the luminaire or the LED strip and I will go and draw light arrangement I click that one and then I will just place it here for example and I'll say I want to have a spacing of a um, how many what is the spacing so 2.55 is the distance of that one uh, the length is 7 meters so I'll make it 30 pieces actually you can edit this photometric files and make it one long instead of piece by piece LED, LED a single LED uh, um, photometric file but let's just use this one for now okay this is not enough still see those spacing is not correct so I'll go and add more maybe 50 pieces because the more you put the IS file or LED, LED file the he heavier the files it is so I'll go to the elevation view and check so my uh, mounting position is wrong so I'll go and rotate it right click rotate and then right click again and then move it and then put it in here this is the ledge and then let's go and select it and check it in the 3d view how it looks see it okay i'll go to the ceiling tab yeah perfect i need to go to the ceiling tab first so i can see the ceiling yay there you go and see my LED strip is there already and i'm good to go so let's go and run a calculation now and see how it looks I can add it on the other side as well yes let's do it so grab it the luminaire and control C and control V and then just move it towards the other side and then once you do that let's not just arrange it arrange it for now let's just keep it at, as it is and then okay and then if you want to double check again the, set, the position of your LED strip just go to the elevation view and then check it from there so it's here yes properly laid very good how about in the other side yes it's there so let's go now and run a calculation for this one let's move a little so that's how easy it is for you to use those LED strip Albert so don't worry even if you're not learning so much for now just let me know I will guide you step by step on your way to being a good lighting designer so Albert I hope you learned something today where is this one there you go 
So to use that LED strip, um, yeah, I already sent you another answer to your question. So just keep on practicing. Do not worry when you are starting, it's really hard, but when you get used to it, yeah, you'll start uh, liking the lighting design. Okay, so don't forget Tridonic and those Tridonic guys, I want or I need sponsors. So if you want to sponsor my video tutorials, please contact me in my email address, nelka underscore roku at yahoo.com. Thank you. And for those guys, for you guys, who want, if you want to learn more, visit my Udemy course dub at uh, www.udemy.com. I have so many lighting design course there. And then if you want to be my friends in Facebook, don't forget, check my Facebook account and I'll give you some discount or coupon <laughs> codes in my online trainings. So let's see, is it done? Not yet done. Okay, so um, I don't think we can still wait for this one. So see you again next time, guys. Bye.